What is going on guys, Apple Fox here, and if you have storage on your iPhone completely full and you want to free up some space, then I will show you this really cool trick. Of course you can delete some apps or songs anytime, but what if you don't want to get rid of any files? This trick not only clears some space in your phone, but it also doesn't remove anything from your iPhone or iPad. It doesn't require your iDevice to be jailbroken. So without any further hesitation, let's get right into it. So as a first thing, I recommend you to check how much storage is available so you could see the difference. To get there, you need to go to settings, general and then storage and iCloud usage. As you can see, I have less than 100 megabytes available right now. Next, you need to go to iTunes Store and the whole thing consists of doing this. You have to find a very large movie in iTunes. It has to exceed available storage, so if you have 8 gigs available, for example, the movie has to be larger than 8 gigabytes. In my case, it doesn't really matter because I don't have much available. So I will search for Fool's Gold, for example. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see that it has 4.2 gigs, so it's enough for me. And now when you're sure that the movie is larger than the amount of storage you have available, then click on rent. You don't have to worry about it because you won't pay anything. Your iPhone just tries to download the movie and because it's very large size, it won't happen, so you won't be charged for it. And now my iPhone tells me that I don't have enough space to do this. So now what you want to do is just to click on settings and you can see that I just gained a couple megabytes and I have more available than I had before. This thing is happening because some kind of junk files are getting removed, but it never deletes the files you need. It's weird, I know, but it works. But if this movie isn't enough for you, so you have more free space than the size of the movie. You can try Cleopatra, for example, with more than 10 gigabytes, it's the largest movie I could find on iTunes, so hopefully it's enough for you. Then you just do the same. But the best thing is that this method is not limited. This basically means that you can do it again and again to free up some storage. But don't forget that the movie you are using to perform this has to be a bigger size than available storage, because otherwise you will have to pay for renting of this movie. So if I do this again, click on rent the movie, not enough storage, and if I go back to settings, oh yeah, I just got some more megabytes. Okay, so this is pretty much it. I really hope you liked this video, and if this worked for you, make sure you leave a like on this video, and also you can take a look at my other videos, and if you like them, just click the subscribe button so you won't miss anything. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.